Yo, we are back for some more beep trapping. Oh, it's uh, been a long day. Set a lot of beaver traps today to uh, put up some videos for you guys. I was actually just about to give up when I drove by and seen this beaver lodge. There's a chunk of state land that you can get down on the lake here. It's probably a 500 yard walk, which really ain't that much. But got this beaver lodge here. Got the feed pile built right onto it. Now it's kind of weird, like in these like these like bog. You know, there's a bunch of floating bog. The house is built on the edge of some floating bog. These bog beaver, they can. They'll, they'll like make their feed pile out of lily pad ruts and all kinds of weird shenanigans. I don't know what the deal is with that. But, um, yeah. So there's sticks there. There's lily pad ruts. There's brush. There's all kinds of crap in there. Um, we got a few runs here. Let's take a little look here before I set them up. But I'm just poking. So you can kind of see where the... House comes up. Oh, Jesus, Lord Almighty, almost lost her. Whew, I'm gonna clean my pants. So, right here, see that? There we go. There's a run going up right into here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle my feet. And then there's a very obvious run right here. I think it's it's not like over there, it's not like right there, but it's more like right there going up into the lodge. They left me a few sticks, it was really nice of them to help me out to trap them. And I, there might be one right back in the rushes there. So it could potentially set the light is feeding fast, wind is still whipping. We're a little protected, but it's still gonna be kind of bad. So hopefully, hopefully the audio is good for you guys. If not, I apologize. And we're gonna get to setting some beaver traps. There we go. So, there is, in fact, a run coming out right, uh, 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 right here. So, I am gonna Put in a black and half stick. Oh. No, I don't think I really need it. I'm gonna put it in anyway. Like so. There we go. Oh. Kind of excited to catch to check this lodge tomorrow for some reason. I don't know why. But other than other than other than the fact that we're gonna be catching some beef. We got her. We got her. Want this trap right across that run. It's gonna, this should be a really good set. I shouldn't say it should be. It is a really good set. You guys, it's gonna turn this trap right there, like so. 
This is an extremely hard stick. Beavers are going nowhere with that. Got my swivel stick here. Uh huh. There we go. I got a good feeling tomorrow we're gonna have a bunch of beaver in this place here. off stick because it's so the run is just so narrow you guys I'm just gonna put it right down here like so and this trap isn't going anywhere there's no possible way it can because there's a that's a chunk of floating bog there but it's it's attached itself to the bottom so I, I mean so <laughs> you know how that goes they're not attached itself but just stuck there so it's not it's not gonna be moving around a whole lot but if I get something in that trap it's it's there's no way it's gonna get this stick out of the ground or anything to move to move around so I'm just gonna put a swivel stick in here like so oh you know what hey we do we got a blocking off stick here you guys there we go there we go a little extra protection there Three traps in. Woo. Well, I am pretty excited to check traps tomorrow. Um, I got a lot of traps set for you guys today. A lot. Where's my axe at? There it is. A lot of traps out today. So there'll be plenty of beaver trapping videos coming your way, um, hopefully up to the end of December and maybe into January, it's, as long as you don't get any snow, we'll see. Um, a lot of fishing coming your way, I'm going to be out as much as I can. So see you tomorrow. We're back for our first check on this lodge here. It's not a really big lodge, but I suspect there could be a family in here. Haven't trapped this lake in many many years i did set three muskrat traps on the way down here just to you know take the advantage of getting that extra fur if i can remember right but i got a rat here so i walked up to that 330 saw it sprung there was thought there's nothing in it at all so i pulled it out and i had a rat by like the back leg and the tail um other traps are sprung both of them are well this one's sprung you can see the stick is tipped there i don't know i really don't know if there's a beaver in it but i pushed it into the bottom quite a ways so oh gosh my ghetto look at this <laughs> i need to invest in something here to fix this up a little bit better oh just when you're trapping on the trap line things break bad things happen anyway so we got that. I'm going to get this set up here. Here we go. I got it all set up as best as uh, I can right now. <laughs> Video's a little crooked. But regardless, it is video. It's rocking and rolling. All right. I shoved this one in the bottom a long ways yesterday, so if there's if there is a beaver in here, it's more than likely a big one. Most likely a big one, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And it's tipped a little bit. Oh yeah, there's, there's a beaver. It feels like it's caught like suitcase style even. Coming in. I got them coming in, you guys. Okay. It's a good sized beaver. Probably a. Ugh. Oh, yeah, it's a big beaver. That's going to be a two year old for sure. Caught them coming in probably from that very front run where the muskrat got caught, would be my uh, assumption. There we go, get his head off there. Oh, 
kind of a pain in the butt to get out in your suitcase, catch the big ones. Ugh. Small ones, the trap falls right off. The big ones, you actually got to work at it a little bit. Well, that wasn't that wasn't too bad, now was it? It's really nice out right now. Like 40, probably over 40 degrees, I would say. It's, they said high of 40 today, but I'd say it's over 40. The wind's gonna come up tonight and get ugly. It's not gonna be good. Tomorrow, I don't know. I do not know what tomorrow holds. Oh yeah, that's right. I had problems getting this guy in there, didn't I? There we go. Ha. That was yesterday. No problems today. Shove this baby down in the bottom. Again, like so. Get her at the perfect angle of the dangle. Boom. Trap is set. We got one nice big beaver in that trap. <sighs> and now I'm gonna go see what's in this other trap. Something in it, I don't know. Heck, it could be a, it could be even a muskrat, to be honest with you. I just know the trap is sprung. Swivel stick. Small beaver. Small beaver. So there is a family of them in here. There we go. That beaver was going nowhere. I would say the second that trap fired was the last second for him. So there's gonna be another big beaver in here for sure and some small ones I would say. Who knows, I mean, maybe there's even more than one. There's an old house across the lake there. Just maybe, you know, maybe a hundred yards. Who knows, maybe there's more, you know, like bigger beaver living in here because like I said, I've, I haven't trapped this lodge in a few years. Long enough to where I don't think I've ever made a video out here, I should say, if that gives you any idea. Super fast resets if you got everything ready to rock. down in the bog there we go super easy stuff there we go boom Well, there we go, two beaver today and a muskrat on this check, this first check. This one isn't, I mean, it's not way bigger than this other one. I don't even know if, it's definitely bigger and older. See there, there's their noses. This maybe is just a small male along with that guy. Hopefully there's, that, that front runs pretty wide. I'm hoping that a big, we connect on a really big one here. You know, a place I haven't trapped in a long time. Yeah. Anyway, we'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully pull a couple rats out and maybe the big mama, the big mamba out of here. Well, before we get out and make this check here, I just want you to know it's Arctic outside, blizzardy-ish. Actually, actually, the clouds went away. Now it's sunshine out. But it is windier than heck out. I set a few muskrat traps yesterday on the way down to uh, check that beaver house. So we're, we're going to pull those rat traps today because I'm not coming back to check tomorrow. And, um, you know, to me it's not fair to uh, leave those rat traps in there when there's a chance they might not drown. Um, you know, you put wires on them and most of the time they get down the drowning hole, but they don't. Not all the time. So I'm going to pull those rat traps and then hopefully... 
Um, maybe we pull another beaver or two out of this beaver lodge. It's gonna be cold and ugly. Let's do it. Well, we're back at the lodge here. Um, my stick, oh yeah, my stick, that stick is definitely sitting weird, sideways, all the above, whatever you want to call it. This, this might look a little sideways too now that I, there we go. There's my, there's my stake right there. That was definitely a straight up and down yesterday right here. We just, we just have to trap. We got a big one in here yesterday. And I'm guessing it's another big one today because those little guys shouldn't be pulling the traps and stuff around, or, you know, like that. Of course, I didn't have it, you know, push 10 feet into the bottom. Oh, come on, come on. What do we got? Oh, well, we got something all right. Oh, it's another big beaver. Oh yeah, another big beaver. Another, I don't know, I mean, it's big enough to have its own colony. I just, you know, right by the head coming into this run. There you go. I'm really happy that we're protected from the wind in this spot because you can actually hear me nice versus the other spot. I don't know. We'll have to see what the audio sounds like, but. I was gonna wait, just. It was so ugly out last night. There we go. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice beaver. Here we go. Oh, another tip, you know, when it's cold out like it is today, I think it's, it's only five or six degrees. When it's, when it's this cold out, let your trap sit in the water, okay? There we go. Let your trap sit in the water for, you know, if you if they sit on the ice, you gotta let them sit in the water for probably a few minutes to get that coating of ice off there. If there's just some snow on there, throw them in the water. You can see they pop out looking like new. Get that trap set as fast as possible because those jaws ice over really fast. And then the trap becomes scary because it can fire, and chop a leg off, you know. Okay, it doesn't chop, won't chop a leg off, but it's scary. Nothing like, nothing will make you change your pants faster than a 330 firing on you. right here why am I trying to force this thing over this knob every single time there chopped it off now what's up it's right put it right back where it's been every single time I'm checking perfect angle we go Check those other traps. Yesterday there was a rat in that trap right there. Today, nothing. Big beaver, small beaver. This looks kind of that I think this is my stake is it pretty sure that's my stake that's floating there
And that's my swivel stick for sure. Oh, ha. there's a beaver floating here. Maybe another big one, maybe. You know, this, this hut maybe is just kind of throwing me off my, or throwing me, you know, maybe it looks like there's not, maybe it looks like it's not that big, but it actually has a few big beaver in it. I tell you what, it doesn't, just looking at this trap, or just looking at this lodge, you wouldn't think that there's a bunch of big beaver in here. But, ah. Uh, what I got. <laughs> this is going to be interesting, I think. I think I got another big beaver here. Oh, this one's, okay, this one is much bigger than the other ones have been. I believe. I'll straighten this out so you guys can get a better, much better look here. There we go. Whoa. I think this is bigger than those two year olds I've been getting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a big blanket. There's a big blanket. Huh. Let's well, three big beaver out of this lodge now. So. This is definitely one of the matriarchs of the colony. Who knew that there were so many beaver in this lodge? How did so many beaver fit in that little tiny lodge? Bank dens, maybe. He's kind of... Oh, oh. He's kind of bent over here. Oh can't see how big it really is. I'll show you compared to the two-year-old we just pulled out of the other run. But, there we go. Big beaver. Oh, that's a blanket, boys and girls. Whew, sweet. That's two for two. We're going to check this other trap back here. Okay, I think that's my stake right there. <laughs> I think, holy, hopefully this doesn't get knocked over. You guys, there we go. I think this is my stake right here, right? No, it's not, never mind. False alarm. But my stake is over there. My stake is over there. My stake is over here. That means that there's a beaver in there. There's my stake, ladies and gentlemen, right there. I'm not sure where. Where's my? Heck, I had my. Oh, it's just stick over here. Well, no way. It'd be three, three big beaver. It'd be great. My little stick. There is. There's a big beaver. Oh, another big beaver coming in. Let's run. Holy. Another big, big beaver. Holy crap. That's freaking insane. I'm backing her up. I'm backing her up. Oh, big beaver. Look at, look at that. Look at the head catch on this big beaver. Oh, big blanket. Big blanket, you guys. Holy. <laughs> I'm so glad I came and checked these traps today. I was, I just, I knew there'd be another beaver here and I was hoping to maybe get the other, other big, you know, two year old and another small one. This thing, <laughs> I got three huge beaver. Well, I got one big beaver and two huge beavers out of this place today. That's freaking ridiculous. Hope we can, oh. We go get that back in there you guys can get a look at it but it's another really big beaver i mean that's a that's a solid blanket you know 
Wow. Oh. Look at that. Big beaver. Or I should say really big beaver. Really big beaver. Big beaver. I'm going to dry them off. We'll take a look at them. All. So we got lucky and we're really protected by the wind down here. The wind's blowing like to 25 right now in surrounding areas. But check three tra these three traps on this lodge. Now like I said, this, this lodge is big enough, I guess, to hold a family, but it's really not that big. Um, when you walk up to it and look, it's relatively small. Definitely small, in my opinion, to hold two huge blankets, you know, and then so far two two-year-olds and a smaller one. There's got to be more small ones in here, I assume. There is a beaver house right across here, but it's flat. I mean, it, it's it's maybe, you know, this tall, there's nothing fresh on it, anything. I mean, they could be, they could be using that. Maybe they got runs up under the shoreline, under the bog that I can't find, but regardless, like this was awesome. This is what makes it worth coming out and setting, you know, and doing all these checks and showing you guys everything that I'm doing. Um, it is fantastic. I'm gonna let these traps sit for two days because I'm. I mean, I I gotta have the majority of the big ones out here. I got to. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll pull these traps on the last uh, set. And if whether we got nothing or got something, you guys will be there. Well, we're back to pull our traps on this lodge here. Like I said before, it's not very big. But I've pulled two monster blankets out of here. Two two-year-olds and one one-year-old out of here. And I've come to pull the traps, ran around them, and every single trap is sprung. I think there's something in all of them, which really depresses me, but makes me excited because when I drug them back the other day, I thought I was going into cardiac arrest. Anyway, we're going to pull these traps out and see what we got. Okay. Trap number one is holding a small beaver. Right there. Which I'm not surprised. Because I knew there was going to be sm more small beaver in here, for sure. There just had to be. I mean, how do you, how do you catch one small beaver and a bunch of other big beaver? All right, trap number one down. Let's see how my cable, my cable's kind of, I don't, <laughs> that better, no, maybe. Is that legit? Oh. Hey, that looks like another big beaver. Anyway, oh my god. 
Another big beaver. Oh. Oh. Big beaver number five out of this lodge now. thing I can think of is there's got to be more bank end or something here because that is another big beaver out of this lodge and there just can't be you know you can't have that many big beaver in a tiny lodge I guess that just it doesn't stand to reason to be honest Got one more trap here beaver once again coming into the lodge traps and once again three beaver well there we are right there three more beaver three six seven eight so I took three four five big beaver and three small ones out of here so two giants three really big ones well big ones and three Younger ones that were probably born last year. <clears throat> Great. So my question is, how do they fit so many beaver in this small lodge? I looked for bank dens. There's nothing that I could find going up any of the runs going up to the shoreline. Um, and where I'm setting traps here, it's hard bottom. You know, I mean hard, like uh, mud bottom. I don't think there's much for bog, but that, that doesn't mean that there's not. Um, yeah, a lot of beaver, a little tiny lodge, you guys. Um, kind of a funny thing, the last time I was here, I took a picture and posted it on Instagram for a certain, a, a, somebody sent me a message on Instagram and said, hey, either you stop posting pictures of trapping and you quit trapping or I'm gonna disable your Instagram account. I was like, whatever, you know? I totally changed my password to something that nobody could hack that I had to write down that was a mile long. Posted a picture, next morning, my Instagram account was disabled in history. Got a hold of Instagram and they said, oh, it's due to multiple community guidelines, you know, in the past and such. And I've never had one community guideline violation ever. Never one, not one morning, not nothing. Um, so I've been appealing it to get my account back. I honestly, I quite, I honestly think it's, it's an employee inside Instagram that's doing it or that did it. So I'm looking for some answers because I might even try to hire, hire a cybersecurity person to find out exactly who the IP address is connected to, to that account. Cause that's what, what's, what's the, you know, what's the chances that a random person would threaten to disable my account and the very next morning it's disabled and Instagram just says, oh, it's because of violations. That one person, particular person, threatened to do it themselves. So 
I'm pretty sure it's somebody within Instagram. Anyway, after that bit of information, there it is. Three more beaver, eight beaver total out of this small house. Insane. Where the Albanidin? I don't know. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Mm -hmm.